All right, everybody, welcome back. We are diving into something huge today. Huge is right. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. GRD. Or GRD, yeah. We found some awesome material that goes way deeper than just like, you know, oh, here's a dam. It makes power. Right. It's about what the GRD represents, you know. Yeah. Big ideas like unity and progress. Yeah. And this idea of sustainability, which uh, is oh, yeah, for sure. front and center with a project like this. Okay, so to kick us off. Yeah. The source material compares the GERD to these other mega dams. like Oh, like the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam, exactly. Yeah. And they say those dams, they became like... S symbols. Symbols, yeah. Symbols. Of national pride, you know. Absolutely, these big engineering feats. Right. And like, think about it, the GERD. Yeah. It's being built mainly by Ethiopians. Oh, that's a really cool point. It's not just like outsourced, right? Yeah. It's homegrown talent. It's like, we can do this. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Showcasing their own expertise. Okay, so we've got the whole symbolism thing going on. But our source material also talked about, like, the environmental side. The sustainability angle. Yeah. And they mentioned this massive tree planting thing Ethiopia is doing around the Blue Nile. Oh, yeah. That's crucial. It's like they're trying to get ahead of any potential negative impact. So it's not just about making up for damage, yeah, right? Yeah, it's more proactive. Think restoring the ecosystem. Billions of trees. It's huge. But, okay, realistically. Yeah. Big dam, big river. <laughs> There's got to be some impact downstream, right? Of course. Anytime you mess with a major river system, yeah. you got to think about those downstream effects. So what does the source material say about that? Well, they emphasize like constant monitoring oh. and working closely with Sudan and Egypt. Right. The downstream countries. Yeah. To manage any of those, uh, you know, potential issues. Okay. So that brings us to Sudan and Egypt. The source material calls the GAE a potential win-win for everybody. Which on the surface sounds great. Right. More agriculture for Sudan mm -hmm. and Egypt can get in on that green energy. Mm, right. But is it really that simple? Well, you got to remember the Nile. Yeah. It's a shared resource. Right. And there's a whole history of like complex geopolitics around it. Geopolitics? Just means like how geography and international relations kind of get all tangled up. Okay, I'm with you. And in this case, yeah. you've got these uh, historical tensions, <laughs> right. and everyone wants their fair share of the water. Yeah, that makes sense. So a win-win. It's possible, mm -hmm. but it needs careful, careful negotiation. You can't just like expect everyone to be happy just because there's a new dam, right? Exactly. Diplomacy is key. Okay, so this is where things get really interesting. Oh, weigh it on me. The source material talks about global collaboration around the GER. Okay, I'm intrigued. Like, what if wealthy nations help build other green energy stuff to work with the dam? Like what? Give me an example. They specifically mention solar farms. Oh, wow. In the Sahara Desert. Whoa, hold on. So we're talking... A whole network yeah. of green energy spanning, like, continents. Connecting the GRD's hydropower with solar. Yeah. Could power Africa and Europe. That's incredibly ambitious. Right, so... I gotta ask, yeah. how realistic is that? Honestly, it'd be incredibly difficult. Yeah. You're talking international agreements, massive funding, figuring out how to share the tech. So it's a long shot. It is, but yeah. the source material argues, you know, the potential payoff. Huge E, yeah. clean energy for everyone, economic development, countries working together. Okay, so maybe not impossible. Exactly, it's like a, uh, what's the word? A high risk, high reward kind of thing. I like it. It makes you think big. It really does. We started with just this one dam. Right. And now we're talking about like reshaping the energy landscape of entire continents. It all comes back to the GERD as a symbol. Okay, explain that. If this project, you know, if it really works, if it delivers on its promises, clean energy, regional cooperation, mm -hmm. it could be a model for like a whole new way of doing things. A new era of sustainability of countries working together to solve big problems. But if it fails, ooh, then it becomes a cautionary tale about about how hard it is to manage shared resources, right? And how tricky these global uh, geopolitical things can get. So, in a way, the GRD is like a test case for the whole world. Can we actually work together to build a more sustainable future? That is a question we all need to think about. Absolutely. Well, that was a lot to unpack. My brain is full. <laughs> Mine too. But I think that's what makes these deep dives so great. You know? I fully agree. Makes you think about these big ideas and how everything's connected. It really does. So until next time, everyone, keep those brains buzzing. Keep thinking big. And we'll see you on the next deep dive. See you then.